Visit ZombieGoBoom.com for K-Bar, Cold Steel, Ivan Targets, and more. When the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing survival hack from Zombie Go Boom. In this episode, Caleb Cardinal will be teaching you how to store rice, basically indefinitely. This trick can also work on wheat, grains, flour, and beans. Also, this particular survival hack was brought to you by CampingSurvival.com, so make sure you check them out. And now, let's go to Caleb. Today, we are going to learn how to put 30 pounds of rice inside a Mylar bag, seal it with some oxygen absorbers, and then put it into a food safe bucket with lid. Things you will need for this project are as follows. A five gallon bucket with lid, a Mylar bag, and 30 pounds of white rice. Additional items include a hammer and an iron. As you can see here, I placed the Mylar bag inside the bucket before I poured the rice. With the rice in bag, your next step is to go to your iron, and you must keep your iron on the dry setting. A helpful tip would be to lay down a washcloth on the surface that you are going to be pressing the iron on. Now I recommend you use oxygen absorbers. You don't necessarily have to. The shelf life without them is anywhere from five to 10 years. With an oxygen absorber of 2000 cc, your shelf life is indefinite. This next step is fairly easy, but tedious. Take the now heated iron and press it on one of the edges of the Mylar bag. Hold for 10 seconds, move three inches, hold for another 10 seconds, another three inches, therefore till you're just about to the end. Once you feel confident that you've got most of the oxygen out, take your iron again and seal the bag permanently. Do not expect the Mylar bag to look vacuum sealed immediately. It takes time for the oxygen to be absorbed. If you feel like you might not have a perfect seal, an easy way to determine this is to put the Mylar bag inside the bucket, then press on the top. You will hear a sizzle sound as of air escaping. Place your lid perfectly over the bucket. Take your hammer and begin hammering on the lid. Space your strikes two inches apart. I have found that this is a good method to make sure the lid goes on smooth and perfect. These types of buckets are perfect because the only way to remove the lid is this zip tie. So you would know if anybody was in your food supply because the lid would be compromised. That's all I have for you today. For this survival hack, my name is Caleb Cardinal. Thanks for watching.